Welcome you all. So, are we ready? Yes. So, Lori, are you ready? Okay. Welcome, welcome you all to the Milton City Hall, and I'm going to open the meeting of the Milton Common Council for November 19th, 2019, to order. And the first item is the uh, roll call. Ramsey here. Sullivan here. Nelson here. Boone here. Hazard here. West. Present. Olson? Here. Burke? Present. All present. Yeah, before we start the comment section, there's a, we are going to um, honor one of the council members here, Luke Fossard. He was selected as one of the nation's top rising leaders. So under the New Deal program called Developing Exceptional American Leaders, he is one of the 15 people nationwide and the only one from Wisconsin. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so the next item is the comments from the citizens present. It's limited to three minutes per speaker. Anybody who wants to speak? George, do you have something to say? Well, you got three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If there's a no, there are no takers, then we start to move on to the approval of the consent agenda. Motion to approve the, assent, the consent agenda. I'll Ms. second that. Okay. Any additions or anything here? So. Approving number so, six with the contingencies that are listed. Yeah. And Mike, what do you think of this number seven? You have a um some issues which still need to be sorted out no. number seven under the utility master master plan or is it i don't know of any issues that i'm not aware of any issues that need to be worked out uh, what i had mentioned to you is um, i don't know if it had gone to the plan commission but planning staff might have reviewed it and i hadn't had a chance to Ask Abby about that. So the staff, the plan commission staff did review the utility master plan. Okay. And you feel okay, Abby, then? Okay. Okay, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passed unanimously. We are on to agreements. Agreement for tax incremental financing district three assistance to Kinset hospital, Hospitality for town. Place Suites 3055 Deming Way. Approval, approval is recommended by finance. Second. Any questions or comments? Okay, all those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. I know one of them is reluctant, so. <laughs> and item number two under the agreements is uh, agreement for tax incremental financing. District number three and number five, redevelopment services for 2020 for Vanderbilt and Associates. Approval, approval is recommended by finance. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. Next item is the award of bid, court, and professional services. This is number, right, number one is the award of court to bully tree and landscape for hazard tree removals. Move approval as recommended by finance, which included a different source of funds. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed to the motion passes unanimously. We are on to miscellaneous. Classification and compensation study update, work plan and proposal. Move approval as recommended by personnel and finance. Second. And yes, Susan? Yeah, I was looking over the salary for it was included in our packets, the salary ranges. And the one thing I noticed, our dispatchers are paid a very low salary relative when you take into account what they're actually doing and responsible for. So I hope this plan will look at that in comparison to other communities. 
So yes, that's what they do. Yes, that so Melissa, that will be happening, right? Correct. That okay. for each position, if there's comparables in other communities that have comparable positions, we will look at ours, our salaries compared to market ranges, and that's what the consultant will bring forward is any recommended changes um, to those ranges. That's a good point, Susan. Any other questions or comments? Okay, all those are in favor of the motion for classification and compensation study update and work plan and proposal say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed to the motion passes unanimously. Item number two is the DEFRO, <coughs> the certification time adjustment for public works office manager, Diane et al. Motion to defer uh, this item. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. We are on to the ordinances. This is the first reading. Final action may be taken upon approval of a motion to suspend rules under section 1.07 Middleton General Ordinances. An ordinance to create an appeal process for address change determinations. And this is the latest copy which uh, you have at your place on the yes, table. Yes, the, uh, and the only change is um, the, the, the part at the top, the number one, since otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell what section is actually being amended. Okay. But the, but the meat of it uh, in, see that? in section two is the same as it was before. Uh, we just added some days. Mm-hmm. Well, the days and also the appeal process, which wasn't there before. Right. I'm going to uh, channel my inner Robert here, but shouldn't there be an E at the end of therefore on the second to last line with the, yeah. on the red? The written objection shall state the reasons therefore. No. I'm no. No? It should not be. Really? Okay. All right. I'm still proud of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll, leave it, I'll leave it to you then for the future. Yes. All right. I learned something new. Okay, well, somebody need to make a motion. Move approval. Second. Second. Okay. Is this first or second reading? This is, I believe, first. first. This is the first reading. Oh. Okay, this is the first reading. All those in favor of this motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. Okay, we are on to item number two under the an ordinance for a general implementation plan amendment and extension of Tribeca Drive, Tribeca Village. I will make a motion to suspend the rules and approve the ordinance for a general implementation plan amendment and extension of Tribeca Drive. Second. Okay, any questions or comments? I'd like to get into the... Um the road profile there, it just seems to me that uh, the majority of Trebekah Drive is already 90 foot right away, and here we're going to step it down to 70 right before Parm enter. Is that right? That's what's been recommended? I thought it was yeah. stated at 90. Uh, I think currently it's showing it in here at 70. Yeah. 70. At 70. Didn't we vote on that last time? Or? Yes, Sean. You, are, uh, you got something to say. Well, I, I don't have as much background as everybody else, but part of the proposal is to step down uh, by reducing angle parking, but introducing um, bike lanes. So there wouldn't be parking, there would be some bike lanes. And, and right at the intersection, I'm anticipating once the intersection control evaluation study gets done, that we'll need some dedicated turn lane up at the intersection, so it'd have to widen back out to some degree. None of that is yet known. This is still um, GIP level stuff, not SIP level stuff, in my mind. And I think there were some conditions put on this at the plan commission. So if that motion would read uh, with conditions as recommended by plan commission, that would be helpful. Uh, I'll make that amendment. Those are all listed in the red line agenda. Thank you. So Sean, do you feel uh, that uh, um, other than that parallel, well, angular parking, does it make any other difference compared to rest of the Tribeca Drive? 
Uh, I mean, when you look at rest of it, it's all 90 coming up today, right? Is that I, true? Or? I never worry as much about right-of-way width as what do we intend the road to function as, and do we have enough room to make that happen? Okay. Um, and, and I think for two lanes of travel, that's really all that road's going to need for the most part. It becomes a question of on-street parking, and that's a policy-level decision, but we haven't even talked about that yet. So you're quite happy with this? I, I wouldn't even say that. I would oh. say we haven't talked about it yet. Okay, all right. So I just have a follow-up. It, it makes no sense to me that you're going to go from 90 feet down to 70, and then when it hits, comes closer to par mentor, you're going to go back out for turn lanes. Why wouldn't you just keep the 90-foot right-of-way all the way through? I think that's a fair question. And And... and there isn't a design yet at the intersection because we don't even have the intersection control evaluation done yet. But if you lose the right of way now, never get it back. That's right. Yeah. May I just quickly? Um, one of the recommended contingencies is that Public Works Committee would take up um, conceptual changes proposed to the Tribeca Drive right of way width and typical cross section. So I don't think Public Works Committee has reviewed that yet, but we're recommending that as a contingency for approval. Recommending what? The 70 or the 90? Consideration. That, that Public Works Committee have a chance to evaluate it and, and make their own recommendation. Plan Commission recommended approval as proposed, but they wanted the Public Works Committee to have a chance to review it. So then we have a timing issue here. If we approve it tonight, and it, with both first and second readings, then doesn't that? Well, the approval could be really deferred effective until Public Works Committee recommends. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Why don't you approve it as a first reading, change mm -hmm. it, because I just noticed that the ordinance isn't actually in the packet. You have, <coughs> you have a, uh, a report, but not the actual ordinance. So, um, I, I see no problem with with approving it at this point, and then when you then when it's on the agenda again, that should. It's be in a, the packet. The ordinance is in the packet. I don't see it. It's on page seventy-one. 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 Yep. Very short ordinance. Just wait a second. Seventy-one. Would you like me to give you a copy? Yeah. Yeah, it's 71, yes. It's very short, but you can have that. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I, it got separated. My, my apologies. So but I think there I is. If you did it as a first, a first reading, and this could be going to course. committees by the time of the second reading, that would obviate this problem, wouldn't it? But if I'm reading this correctly, there's some a deadline associated with the Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority tax credit application. Yeah, so one of the one of the developments um, that's being proposed within Tribeca on parcel E, just south of Tribeca Drive, um, is a proposal by JT Klein to um, propose a low-income housing tax credit development. And WIDA has an application requirement. The application is due in early December. My understanding is that there are points assigned uh, for having permissive zoning in place, and because of how competitive those 9% tax credits are, missing a couple of points for not having the permissive zoning in place could be a deal breaker for his tax credit application. He can speak to this better than I can. Um, one thing I would point out is that on the property that JT Klein is proposing to develop, the overall zoning change is, is minimal, by comparison to the rest of the changes that are being proposed within Tribeca. Um, for parcel E, it's simply a change to um, allow a residential use to proceed without retail on the ground floor. Um, that was also approved for um, at least one, but maybe two of T-Wall's buildings that are just south and west of there. Um, I, I don't know, I would defer to Larry as to whether there's a possibility that the council could consider um, approving the GIP for parcel E, but simply, you know, for second reading, uh, waiving the, the first reading for that particular parcel so that project could proceed, um, and then maybe waiting on the remainder. I don't know if that's possible. So I'll, I'll make it. I think it is possible. Do we have 
Which which one of those is the the legal description? <laughs> I, this is you know I. It appears we have. So maybe this is, can go away. I, I would make amendment to the motion to recommend that we maintain the 90-foot profile for right-of-way subject to uh, public works. That way it's already here and, and they can go ahead and, and do whatever they need to do pending the final resolution from and, and approval from public works. Are you comfortable with that, Sean? I think that would work. It's always easier to give away access than to try to make a claim for something it turned out we needed. Yep. So you want to say some? You have something to say? Yeah. Hi, I'm. Hi, I'm Brandy Zander. I represent um, Mig Commercial Real Estate, one of the owners of the um, remaining undeveloped land, and uh, the process that we're going through in order to accomplish the zoning change is simply to replace the big box um, portion of that that's already approved. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we need to get, uh, and we want to get Tribeca Road uh, extended. And we've got a traffic impact analysis already going. So we'd like to just get this going subject to the results of whatever that intersection needs to look like. And we're working with staff to figure out what that should be. So. Um, if you have any other questions, I can answer them. But I just wanted to get that there. I, I have Thank a you. quick question. Yes, yeah. sure. Please go to the mic. Thank you. So going from 70 back to 90 right away is probably 10 feet off the east side of the road and 10 feet off the west side of the road. I just, it, from the pictures, it looked like it was. Kind of north-south, but. Yeah. Oh, thank you, north-south. Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate that. Um, just. Off the cuff, if we're saying 90 foot right of way, is that is there any con major concerns that we should know about? But I, I agree that we'd rather keep it at 90 and be negotiate that away at a later date if we need to. But I would yeah. like to hear your thoughts. Yeah, the thought uh, for us was to uh, only build Tribeca as big as it needed to be. And with two lanes of traffic and the bike lanes, we thought that we could accomplish that. I think it's 70 feet. And then um, it still leaves a little bit of room there. So if you need to, at a future date, add another turn lane, that's there. And then we're not going to do on-street parking because this will be mostly office development. So. Um, I think the original intent with the prior owner was to have, you know, retail people parking on the streets and crossing over, and, and that just simply isn't the vision anymore. So um, we thought that we would um, develop that land rather than leave it for street parking. Okay, this thank is you. For, yes, Susan. This is for angled. We're eliminating the angled parking, which correct. takes about 10 feet, correct? I believe so. Probably more than that. Yeah, so that's where the difference between 90 feet and 70 feet is simply getting rid of angle parking. Exactly. All together. Yeah, that's right. But, so I think right now, though, the proposal is to leave the 90 foot right of way <laughs> there and have it be a discussion point at Public Works and other places. That's, that's, my, rec that's my motion to amend. I accept, I accept that amendment. Yeah. Okay. Any? This would be to waive the rules for first and second reading. And leave it at 90. Okay. Yep. So, Emily, okay, you have some questions or not? I think we were just thinking through what that looks like because okay. uh, what that picture would look like. And um, I thought there were bike lanes with the. with the. So, how, it's, how would you develop inside the right of way? I mean, that's. We can figure that out. The problem is the right of way. So right now, Tribeca Drive from, I believe, Airport Road over to where it stops is the 90-foot right of way. Is that correct? I don't know that it is, and it doesn't have part street parking on the whole length of it. It's just in the small section in front of Ewald's apartment. I think it's 70-foot up until the initial development, and then it bumped out because of the angle parking. So most of it's 70 foot, I would say. Hmm. So you want to make it consistent. 
Uh, well, I think the angle parking that's already there is probably mm. going to stay there. So mm. that will still be 90. I, and I think in a broader picture, once we have that intersection control evaluation, we'll have a better way to, uh, ideally anyway, figure out what our goals are here and what room we need to make that happen. So then you will be happier with 90 right now then? I think that would work. Okay. Uh, okay. For what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Would it be would it be possible would it be possible to amend uh, or pass as drafted and then if the impact study comes back and says that more width would be required we would accommodate? It could go the other way. Isn't that oh. right? yeah. Okay. Right. We'll we'll keep it at 90 and if you if if the road studies or intersection studies say you need less, then Public Works can recommend that. I don't want to come back to you and to say maintain too. You know. know. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but it's not that we want our roads to be wider than they need to be, <clears throat> but we don't know what the need is yet. That's the problem. So, what was the final motion? The final. You want to vote on oh, the amendment first, or, or no, you accept it as an amendment? I did accept the amendment. It's yeah. a friendly amendment. Yeah, the motion is uh, to suspend the rules Just and uh, approve this GIP with the uh, 90 foot right away for the Tribeca Drive. Thank you. Okay, so all this, those in favor of the motion. The ordinance for uh, general implementation plan amendment and extension of Tribeca Drive, Tribeca Village, with the uh, 90 foot right away than for the road rather than 70, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes. We are on to the ordinance, second reading. This is the ordinance for annexing lands from the town of Milton. This is Diamond 711 Twin Sunset Road and Parcel 2 <coughs> West at 1.19 acres. Motion to approve the ordinance to annex the lands um, as recommended by uh, PWC and uh, everybody else, I believe. Second. Any questions? Or, yeah, yeah, just so everybody knows, in the packet, all you had was the ordinance but you didn't have the exhibits that are referred to in the ordinance. And that was placed on your table today. So the Williamson survey legal description and the scale map, which are statutory elements to a annexation ordinance. So it's really important that they are be included. Thank you. Are they supposed to be part of the motion or I mean? No. Okay, it, it, okay. They are in there, so. These are just adding additional parts okay. to it. Okay. Any questions or comments? Mark, you have something? Okay. Anyone else? Okay, I'll, this is the second reading, so that's fine. All those in favor of the ordinance for annexing lands from the town of Milton, 711 Twin Sunset, such Twin Sunset Road, say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? So the motion passes. Recommended proposals. A request for stop sign at Parliamentary Street and Hubbard Avenue. I'd like to move Ed, approval. Need a second. Second. Any questions or comments? Okay, I'll, uh, yes, Susan. Yeah, I've, Public Works discussed this extensively and the big concern for this intersection wasn't necessarily the need for stop signs, but eliminating one or two parking spaces so that we had good sight lines at that intersection. And it's especially important because where Hubbard going west intersects with Parmenter, it's not a right angle intersection. And so the vision triangle for seeing cars coming north on Parmenter is obstructed. And mm. so I want to be certain that that is maintained, that the sight lines, but. If, um, I'd just like to say that when we had the, the meeting about the downtown and the streets, the business owners were adamantly against losing parking spots, of course. Um, what I see, though, is if you have a stop sign there, the sight lines, whatever they are, they're a little, it's a little, still safer 
and the recommendation from Public Works to paint the the curbs and put in the crosswalk signs. The crosswalk signs can't be in the street in the winter time. And also in the winter time, people usually end up parking a little further even away from the curb because of the snow and the letting people out, which even means that you have to go out further into the street to see what it is. And I and this they're going to be redoing these streets, I know that. But for now, this winter and I just think it'd be such an improvement there. Yes, Robert. I, I, I agree that we can try out the stop signs because everything's changing over the next year and a half anyway at that intersection. I think it's a good trial. The concern, obviously, is <coughs> what will an added set of stop signs do to traffic when you've got the light at, at University, the stop sign at Elmwood, and now a new stop sign uh, here at Hubbard. But I think it, it makes sense to try that. Mm -hmm. What I, I agree with, I agree with Susan, though, that the strong recommendation coming from a uh, public works committee was to paint out, basically, a, at least a, a couple of the parking spots right at the corner because that is a difficult uh, intersection to see around, and I think the stop signs may help, but I, I would definitely not want to lose um, the ability to see better by removing a couple of, of parking spots there by painting them out as well. I think Robert has a good point that let's, uh, even the Public Works Committee had a good discussion that let's have a stop sign as a trial and I think that seems like a good idea. Any other questions or comments? Well, I think we need to be clear on the motion that we're not eliminating removing that parking space and painting the lines because Kathy's motion is only for putting in stop yep, signs. Yep, and yep. that to me implies that we're taking away that parking space and removing the vision triangle. That implies that by putting in stop signs, it's going to lose- well, the, Your motion. Would not lose parking at this point. Well, well, that's what and we're that's concerned, concerned about. I, 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 okay. I, I actually I, would like to lose a little bit of parking to give us better sight lines, which yeah, is what lines Public is, Works had really wanted. Yes. Sean, do you know how much uh, painting that would be done? How many parking spots would be lost? I, I think the result of the discussion was we wanted to look at, could we introduce additional yellow paint from the crosswalk? Statutorily, you can't park within 15 feet, but if we could make that a little bit further without losing the effect of an entire parking stall, that that would be something to look into. That'd be like I, another five or ten, ten, five? Well, that's the part I don't know yet. Okay, okay. Um, you know, I, I think that was the design direction given to the consultant. Okay. Um, I, I would say, though, that if we're introducing an always stop condition, we shouldn't need as much right. sight distance. Right. If everybody's approaching right. and fully stopping all the time, mm -hmm. they should be apparent. Mm -hmm. Susan? Well, could I make a alternate motion to, to refer this back to Public Works for discussion and get the input of various engineers in terms of we'd like to reconsider the four-way stop, but also what's the best situation in terms of the sight lines? This has been before Public Works a number of times already, I believe, I think. One, just once. once. Yeah, it was one, two, 2017, oh, maybe. That, that, maybe. That, <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been before um, me. Oh, so right now we're trying to... Were you, Susan, trying to make a motion, or is that just uh, a discussion? I was trying to make a motion. Okay, so that, that would need a second. So are we bringing this... Let me, before I... I'll... I'll, I'll okay, I'll, I'll second that motion for, uh, for discussion. Um, Really, the people a lot doing a lot of the work are the the outside engineers. Mm -hmm. This isn't so much. Strand. So, can we just? Would it make sense just to say pass this information on to them rather than make them come back into PWC? Uh, Strand, and this would have been Tom Stetzer, very strongly supported increasing the sight lines. There. I agree. So I mean, I, what I'm saying is multiple do we need times. if we set, if we refer this back to uh, public works public works discussing it 
the purpose is really just to give some clear direction to Tom and 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 yeah. his crew. Can we just give that direction right here now and now right. rather than? Well, Kathy doesn't want to just her motion is just for the stop signs and that eliminates the sight lines. Right. That's but this my is problem. all going to be redone. I mean, they're they're not going to stop studying it and designing it. I mean, it's going to still go through even if there are stop signs there. I mean, couldn't we do stop signs now and then continue on parallel paths of looking at right. adding paint later? Right. right. I, I mean, I think right now Tom and company Ooh. are are looking at you know the, yeah. the the study. If if this motion basically is silent on the intersection on paint, the only thing it's talking about is right. putting a couple of stop signs in there to make it an always stop. I think that's probably Larry. I guess enough. I would like confirmation. Where is he going? <laughs> now let the leave. Right back. Okay. <laughs> that, because if he's that this motion won't eliminate continuing to do the studying for the sight lines. Well, actually, I no, think. No, it, it's it's simply it it's a referral motion. It goes back to public works. That, Are you no, asking? No, no, not mine. Kathy's motion oh. of just to put in the stop signs. Does no, that, that shouldn't change anything. No. That's only putting stop sign there. So. And they're still going to be designing the. Yeah, that that thing goes forward as it is. So. And I with um, Sean, you said if you put the paint in where you don't have to with stop signs, if you don't lose a full parking spot, I'm I'm okay with that. Right now. Well, and again, I think if someone's at a stopped condition and someone else is approaching, number one, they should be going kind of slow because they're about to be going zero miles an hour. Uh, so they should be visible before a crash happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will be increasing the vision there because you can't park within 15 feet of a crosswalk, which we don't have at the moment. We, we do have crosswalks there and no parking within 15 feet of them. Well, it's, this is where there is a huge problem turning off of Parmen or pulling out from Hubbard onto Parmen. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult to see around that car. That's why what my concern is. Well, but the point is, is that if you put a four-way right. stop, right. everybody has to come to a stop. You can see. By law. <laughs> yeah. um, right, so if I'm at Parmen or anybody on Hubbard, is visible when I come to a stop and vice versa. So I think this, what I heard Sean say was that the sight line issues go away if it's a four way stop. Or at least are diminished. Yep. Or, or, right. It'd be pretty similar to uh, Elmwood at Par Manor. But there's um. a different, part of my concern is that Elmwood at Par Manor are right angle corn turns. I, I think they're in not. the same ballpark, though. I mean, if we're this talking about not. drivers and cars, it's pretty this close. Has got a, Hubbard comes in at an angle. Does it? Sure. Yes, yeah, it does. I, it's weird. I think Hubbard and Elmwood are parallel to each other, so they should come in at the same no, angle. Uh, we discussed this at when Public you Works. There is a significant angle. When you turn from Hubbard on to Parmenter heading south, taking a left, it's... um. It's really difficult to it's, see around. You have to edge out almost you've got three quarters of the yeah. cross, You have to be line. almost in the line of traffic to see around a car park there. And I think we had some of that same sort of observations being reported when Parmen or at Elmwood was a two-way stop condition. Yeah, but it's not. So that's why it makes sense to at least to have a try of a four-way stop and see why what we just put a so. stoplight there. <laughs> Oh, change my motion, Larry. <laughs> we'll we have a quarter million in the budget, right? <laughs> but this so, is just a trial. It's not. Well, they're going to the keep committing. They're going to keep designing. Okay. Yeah. That's what you're not stopping the continual designing. No. Oh, okay. Think, yeah. But this should <laughs> this should be helpful. I mean, especially through the winters. Okay, so Susan, are you sticking with your motion, or you're going to withdraw? I guess I'll withdraw. Okay. Okay, we're going to make Kathy's motion have a four-way stop there. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. For, for my own clarity, so I don't go putting up an illegal stop sign, was, was this uh, for a trial? Because it's not in an ordinance, certainly, right. yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it as a trial. That's what I thought I heard. Okay. 
Okay, so the now we are on to the resolutions. Item number one, resolution number 2019-38, authorizing exceedance of 2019 levy limits to pay for charges assessed by the Milton Joint Fire District. Move approval is recommended by finance. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes. Um, item number two, 2019-41, approving the 2020 City of Milton budgets for all funds. Move approval is recommended by finance. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. Uh, next item, 2019-42, approving the levying of property taxes for the 2019 tax year. Move approval is recommended by finance. Second. Any questions or comments? All oh. those in favor of the, yes. Which one is the one that has the debt, obligation debt? Is that this one? Yeah. Just the typo? Yes. Oh. Yep. Um, in the fourth whereas after the words general obligation in the first line of that paragraph the word debt okay so you with that amendment that was approved in finance that way right okay so as for those who weren't there that's okay that's how it was done okay all those in favor of the motion as approved by the finance say aye aye, aye. aye. anyone opposed so the motion is unanimous Item number four, 2019-43, resolution establishing 2020 salaries for non-represented employees. Move approval is recommended by finance. I'll second it. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion passes unanimously. 2019-44, authorizing the establishment of the 2020 emergency medical service fee schedule. Move approvals recommended by finance. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion is unanimous. Um, item number six, 2019-45, state trust fund loans application for flood recovery projects. So approval is recommended by finance. I'll okay. second it. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So the motion is unanimous. Now we are on to committee appointments. This is uh, item number one. Appointment of Catherine Tyson to plan commission. Move approval. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Need a second. second. All those in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? The motion passes.